Good evening. Thanks for being here. We begin tonight with a cry for help. Heard around the world, but heard too late. 13-year-old Megan Meyer. Seth Walsh, a 13-year-old. Her name was Amanda Todd. Committed suicide after being bullied. Bullying. Victimized by bullies. Committed suicide after posting a video on YouTube. Carl later hanged himself. He was just 11 years old. His mom had to cut him down. Okay, what's going on there? My daughter just hung herself. There just was not a law that they could fit it into. kids go through. So we talk about bullying. What is bullying? We talk about bystander tools. We talk about cyberbullying. We talk about conflict resolution, stereotypes. We talk about self-harm and suicide. We talk about all of these topics to get kids to be empowered today to go back into their own school to make a difference. And so that's why we have them come with the educators so they can work on a plan to go back into their school now and they can now put it out so it has that ripple effect. So our whole entire day, it's turned out phenomenal. It is just to get kids to be inspired to make the change, and that's what we hope to do here today. Without crying, um, I'm going to get this through this next one. Lastly, there is no possible way for this had to have been done without my daughter Megan. Um, Megan was this amazing girl. I had her in my life for 13 years. Um, she taught me, honestly, more about the meaning of life the meaning of forgiveness, the meaning of helping somebody out, the meaning of all of that. In her 13 years, I was graced with that because I didn't think the way I used to before. I went through my life, I did the things that I had to do, I was rushed, I was paced, all of those things, everything was so busy. And then when tragedies and things like that happen, it puts things into perspective. The main points, uh, a few of them were just you know, to get kids to be aware of what, you know, the definition of bullying and the statistics. Um, you just so they're aware and then also I feel like with my group especially um, I try to really get them to understand that um, you know if they you know are more empathetic and they kind of you know think before they speak and you know not so much judge people um, off their first reaction of them and more to get to know them that that's you know what really matters and you know um, going out of your way to stick up for someone if you see something wrong it's more something like you know kind of more of a family thing I guess have you ever been hurt teased or made fun of because you are too smart cross the line eyes open all right but since they went to the office and they said hey look that's what they did that's all the evidence they see they didn't see that he's been harassing her texting her nonstop because she didn't go up and say that information first. And this doesn't have to be at your school, this is just in general, if, has this ever happened to you? Uh, have you ever been teased or made fun of because of the people that you live with, whether they're, it's because of drugs, alcohol, jail, or because of money? Or anything else, really, that I didn't say? It is intense um, when you're dealing with bringing in all of these different schools. I mean, it takes a good six to eight months out to start this process. Anything that we can do to keep the cost down, because we also give out financial aid to schools that sometimes are struggling. They have a, a hard time, high free and reduced lunches. And so we want to make sure, no matter what the schools are, public, private, suburban, rural, inner city, every single child has the same chance. And so what we do is we really work on trying to get donations and different things. Um, so worked with us quite a bit on working on the cost and the different things. So it takes a lot of planning, a lot of preparation. At the end of the day, what we want is not only just for it to be education, we want it to be fun and inspiring. So when you're doing that, you have to kind of think like a team, like what will be good? What's going to be kind of corny? You know, and so you really try to ask a lot of questions, but it's just, it's, it's in our heart, and so that's why it makes it work, because we really, truly believe in what we're doing, and so when you do that, yes, it's long hours and it's tiring, but it, we know it's worth it in the end, so 
I thought cyberbullying or bullying even it's just something that happens, but it's not something. It's not really a big deal. After Megan Myers, I joined FCCLA. It's it's really happening around me. It's really something. Just. You. It, it might be you, the one who saved someone's life. The whole day is phenomenal just to kind of see how it goes, where they come in, they're kind of shy, they don't talk a whole bunch, and we mix them up. They start talking more and talking about issues. Yeah, I'm but the really neat Maybe. thing to me today Maybe. that brought tears to my eyes is watching them at the end go arm in arm and swaying and making that commitment. They want to make the change. Yeah, we went here last year, too. So. We already have yeah. a team started at our school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cab, cab, you know, shirts. shirts. It was really informational. She told us a lot that I didn't know about her. I saw the movie, but she gave us way more information. It was really touching. Some of the things I don't like talking about, but some of the things it's good to know. She was just never an option. To me, that is inspiring. And you know, I think it says it all. I, it, you know, a lot of teachers came up and said, listen, our kids are pumped. They want to make a change. They want to do something. They are ready to go. And so if we can light a fire under them, there's no end to what they can do.